the producers have no financial interest in this presentation keratoconus characterized by an abnormal thinning and steepening of corneas is a progressive disorder collagen cross linking is shown to prevent progression of the disease doesn't help in its advanced stages hence advanced keratoconus is left with an option of deep anterior lamella keratoplasty this video demonstrates transformation of extremely thin and wild keratoconus from wild to mild a novel corneal stromal augmentation technique followed by refractive measures in corneas which otherwise has to be replaced deepithelialized donor cornea mounted on artificial anterior chamber was subjected to a femtodissection of a stromal lenticule measuring 8 to 8.5 mm in diameter and 200 to 220 microns in thickness The donor corneal stromal lenticule was then separated and stored. The advanced keratoconic patient's cornea was subjected to a femtodissection in which a midstromal corneal plane of 9.5 mm in diameter with two incisions 180 degree apart was fashioned. The incisions and the bed were opened up in the operating room. The donor corneal stromal lenticule was positioned for a successful corneal stromal augmentation. Unlike deep anterior lamella keratoplasty there is no sacrifice of recipient tissue and suture related events but for mere addition of stroma The procedure was performed under topical anesthesia and with a short operating time and a nearly ambulation with recovery of vision the post operative day 1 3 months with restored corneal values were encouraging at 1 year the graft was very healthy is corneal stromal augmentation an effective alternative to dalc a prospective non randomized comparative clinical trial with 1 year follow up between 15 cases of dalc and 15 cases of stromal augmentation in phase 1 was performed the stromal augmentation and dalc improved vision by 4 and 3 snellens lines respectively both the procedures restored corneal thickness to normal posterior cornea significantly flattened more with stromal augmentation than with dalc owing to addition of tight layer of stroma which pushed the posterior cornea further down inferior to superior asymmetry as a measure of irregular astigmatism was closer to an assumed acceptable difference of 2.5 diopters improved contact lens fitting stromal augmentation with ring segments surface ablations 
and toric intraocular lenses are possible for refractive residual errors. Presently, our research team is working on deriving formulas to calculate required thickness of stroma in different conditions and also in preparing asymmetrical thickness of donor corneal lenticule between the center and the periphery. In phase 2, a conceptual exploratory surgical analysis of corneal stromal augmentation followed by toric phacic intraocular lens implantation was carried out. Eight cases with post-stromal augmentation and high residual refractive errors were subjected to toric phacic intraocular lenses after one year of primary procedure. Phase 2 trial aimed in the effectiveness of implantation of toric phacic IOL as an add-on refractive measure to corneal stromal augmentation technique in the management of advanced non-scarred keratoconic corneas. The mean visual acuity improved to 2030 post-operatively and was well maintained after 3 months along with improvement in contrast sensitivity, near visual acuity and point spread functions. To conclude, the outcomes of stromal augmentation technique in terms of improvement in vision, flattening of cornea increase in central and paracentral pachymetry and improvement in irregular astigmatism is no worse than DALC without sacrifice of recipient tissues and suture related events. Add-on toric phacic IOL provides a complete solution as a refractive measure. This twin procedures will have a promise in the future.